massive, fast-moving visitor to our solar system may have been a probe sent by an advanced alien civilization. Astronomers were excited to discover the interstellar object last year. It was named Oumuamua. This thing came from deep space, not in our system, not from your Oort cloud or your Kuiper First belt. First time ever an object from interstellar space has been observed to visit our solar system. It is simply a piece of another solar system that was expelled and it has been traveling through interstellar space for hundreds of millions of years, billions of years, we don't know. We don't see that in our solar system. None of the asteroids in our solar system look like that. So it's very puzzling how it could have obtained this shape. By October 22nd, we had enough data to realize that this object wasn't from our solar system. Since the beginning of space exploration, we've always wondered if we're the only ones in the universe. As we've learned more about the planets in our solar system, it has become clear that there's no one else out there. However, what if that only applies to our solar system? This question arose when we first made contact with a strange object called Oumuamua, and now it's back with something peculiar happening. Michio Kaku just announced that Oumuamua has returned, and we're about to uncover the truth and what it means for Earth's future. In 2017, astronomers made a remarkable discovery. They found an object called Oumuamua, and it caused quite a sensation in the scientific community. What made it so extraordinary was that Oumuamua was the first object from another star system to pass through our solar system. It was a big deal because it gave scientists a unique opportunity to study a celestial body that came from outside our solar system. Until then, astronomers had focused mainly on studying objects within our solar system, and there was still much to explore even within our neighborhood. The arrival of Oumuamua opened up a whole new realm of exploration, providing researchers with unprecedented knowledge about objects that originate beyond our immediate cosmic surroundings. This was something unimaginable just a few years ago, making it an incredibly significant discovery. The exploration of Oumuamua was incredibly important for several reasons. First, it gave scientists a valuable opportunity to study objects from other star systems, which helped them better understand how celestial bodies are formed and what they are made of. By examining Umamua's composition and structure, researchers aimed to uncover clues about the conditions and processes that shaped it as it traveled through interstellar space. So, what did they discover? Well, Umamua turned out to be a rocky, elongated object that looked like a cigar. Its shape was different from any asteroid or comet observed within our solar system. You see, comets are icy bodies that come from the outer regions of our solar system, like the Kuiper Belt or the Oort Cloud. They are made up of a mixture of water ice, frozen gases, dust and rocky material. In contrast to the elongated and unique shape of Oumuamua, comets usually have different characteristics in terms of shape and size. Generally, comets tend to be more rounded or irregular in shape, resembling dirty snowballs with uneven surfaces and various contours. When comets get closer to the sun, the ice in their core heats up and turns into gas, releasing dust particles. This process can create a cloud of gas and dust around the core, and sometimes a tail that points away from the sun because of solar wind and radiation pressure. Comets can come in different sizes, but most of their solid cores, called nuclei, are typically a few hundred meters to a few kilometers in diameter. The nucleus is usually smaller and denser than the surrounding cloud and tail. However, comets can vary greatly in size. For instance, Halley's Comet, which comes back to the inner solar system every 76 years, has a nucleus estimated to be about 15 kilometers in diameter. Some comets may have even larger nuclei, reaching tens of kilometers or more. But overall, they all have a similar shape. Oumuamua stands out from these typical comets because of its reddish color. It has a hue that resembles objects found in the outer regions of our solar system. This reddish tint suggests that it has a unique composition or surface characteristics. Interestingly, Oumuamua maintained its reddish color despite coming close to the sun. During its journey, Oumuamua didn't show any signs of having a glowing cloud around it like a regular comet would. 
This made it clear that Oumuamua wasn't an ordinary comet, but something different altogether. And that's not all. One of the most fascinating things about Oumuamua is its unusual acceleration, which is not solely caused by the Sun's gravitational pull. Two main factors explain this non-gravitational acceleration, outgassing and solar radiation pressure. Outgassing happens when volatile substances, like gases or icy materials, trapped within the surface layers of a celestial object, vaporize and are released into space. When a comet gets closer to the Sun, the increased heat causes the volatile materials in its core to turn into gas and dust. This expelled material forms a glowing cloud around the comet's core and creates a distinct tail. In Oumuamua's case, this outgassing suggests that there are volatile substances within it, similar to comets. The process of outgassing could have propelled Oumuamua causing it to deviate from the expected path determined only by gravitational forces. Additionally, there's solar radiation pressure. This is the force exerted by sunlight on objects in space. Photons, which are tiny particles of light, carry momentum, and when they interact with a surface, they transfer a small amount of their momentum to it. Although the momentum transferred by individual photons is extremely small, the combined effect of the enormous number of photons from sunlight can generate significant pressure on objects. In summary, Umamua's unique behavior suggests the presence of additional forces beyond gravity. The outgassing and solar radiation pressure play crucial roles in shaping its trajectory and movement. This pressure from sunlight can push against an object and cause it to accelerate slightly. In the case of Oumuamua, its elongated shape combined with the radiation pressure from the sun could result in this non-gravitational acceleration. But there's more to Oumuamua's uniqueness. As it spins on its axis, it shows significant changes in brightness, with a difference of 10 times. This spinning takes around 7.3 hours. This level of brightness variation is even greater than what we see in any known asteroid or comet in our solar system. It's another aspect that highlights how special Oumuamua is. When it comes to its size, things become a bit more confusing. Different studies and observations have provided varying estimates. Various forces and factors contribute to understanding its true dimensions, making it complex. According to a study from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Oumuamua's spherical diameter is estimated to range from a possible maximum of 1,440 feet to a minimum of 320 feet. According to one study, Oumuamua could potentially have a spherical shape with a diameter falling within the range of 320 to 1,440 feet. On the other hand, NASA's solar system exploration suggests that Oumuamua is highly elongated possibly up to a quarter mile long and about 10 times longer than its width. This indicates a significant elongation along its main axis. However, a more recent study offers a different perspective, proposing that Oumuamua is smaller than initially thought. According to this study, Oumuamua's size was estimated to be 147 feet long, 114 feet wide, and 24 feet thick when it was first discovered. This estimate indicates a smaller physical size for Oumuamua compared to previous studies. However, regardless of the size variations, one consistent aspect is that Oumuamua is shaped like a cigar with a long and narrow form. To study Oumuamua and other celestial objects thoroughly, the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope located near the summit of Haleakala on the island of Maui, Hawaii, is an essential instrument. With a diameter of 1.8 meters, it plays a crucial role in the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System project, enabling detailed observations of Oumuamua and other objects in the sky. The collaboration involves the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy, MIT Lincoln Laboratory, Maui High Performance Computing Center, and Science Applications International Corporation. Together, they work on the Pan-STARRS project, which aims to continuously survey the sky using astronomical cameras, telescopes, and a computing facility. This system not only detects objects that move or change in brightness, but also provides accurate measurements of known celestial bodies. 
the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope began its full-time science observations on May 13, 2010, and has made significant discoveries, including the detection of Oumuamua. What makes the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope unique and well-suited for studying Oumuamua is its wide-field optical design. This design allows the telescope to observe a large area of the sky, increasing the chances of detecting faint objects that might otherwise be missed. It has an impressive field of view spanning seven square degrees and is equipped with an unprecedented 1.4 gigapixel camera showcasing its remarkable capabilities. The PanSTARRS-1 telescope has remarkable features that enable it to collect vast amounts of data and accurately detect and track celestial objects. However, its advantages for studying Oumuamua extend beyond its capabilities. Located in Hawaii, the telescope benefits from clear and dark skies, minimizing light pollution and providing optimal observation conditions. This pristine environment, combined with the telescope's sensitivity to faint objects, played a crucial role in successfully detecting Oumuamua as it passed through our solar system. Oumuamua entered our solar system from the direction of the constellation Lyra, but its precise origin remains unknown. Its journey through space could have spanned billions of years, drifting through the galaxy before encountering our solar system. Its journey through interstellar space began when it was ejected from its original system. Studies have revealed that Oumuamua has a thick crust made up of carbon-rich materials. This outer layer has been hardened by cosmic radiation during its long journey through interstellar space. On the inside, Oumuamua is dense and primarily composed of rock, possibly containing metallic elements. Unlike typical comets or icy bodies, Oumuamua lacks water or ice. Some suggest that aliens might have used an unknown propulsion method. The reddish color and surface properties of Oumuamua are intriguing. If Oumuamua was an alien spacecraft or artifact, its reddish hue could have various explanations. One possibility is that the aliens intentionally designed the surface to have that color, using specific materials or coatings that interact with cosmic radiation and stellar energy. This could serve as camouflage, allowing Oumuamua to blend in with the reddish objects commonly found in outer star systems. The purpose behind this coloring could be to reduce detection and avoid attracting attention. But why would it want to hide? Imagine a highly advanced extraterrestrial civilization in a distant star system. These advanced beings have technology that allows them to explore and observe other civilizations. Intrigued by Earth and its signs of life, they decide to send a reconnaissance mission to gather information. Umamua could be seen as a vessel designed by these aliens, serving multiple purposes. Its unique shape and composition are optimized for interstellar travel, minimizing the impact of cosmic debris and ensuring stability during the long journey. By analyzing this data collectively, scientists worldwide can try to uncover more insights about Oumuamua. Determining Oumuamua's orbit has been crucial in understanding its origin and destination. Calculating its trajectory has shed light on the region of space from which it likely came. Even if we don't obtain more information about Oumuamua itself, these orbit calculations contribute to our understanding of interstellar objects and their interactions with our solar system, which is a significant achievement. Computer simulations also play a vital role in studying Oumuamua. Scientists can create virtual models based on available data and use them to explore different scenarios and test hypotheses about the object's composition, behavior, and possible origins. These simulations help researchers refine their understanding of Oumuamua's properties and provide insights into the processes involved during its interstellar journey. Studying Oumuamua gives us important information about its shape, surface properties, and color. These details are crucial for understanding the object better. Oumuamua passed through our solar system before the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. This highly anticipated space observatory holds great promise for future studies of interstellar objects. With advanced instrumentation and increased sensitivity, the JWST may provide new observations and uncover intriguing details about similar cosmic visitors. 
This will refine our understanding of these objects. We will be prepared if Oumuamua returns to our solar system and we will have the tools to explore any new objects that come our way, just like Oumuamua did. It surprised everyone on Earth, but this time we'll be ready no matter what happens. However, will we ever truly know what was inside Oumuamua? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching our video. See you in the next one.